can't believe I just did that, y'all. I just went to the hair salon and I said, look, straighten me, give me some layers. Um, I had my shirt in my hair and God knows how long. I want to see how long it grew. And I walked out of that salon with a silk press. And I love it. Hold it. Got the dump here, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want to deal on my shit so hot. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry, and if you don't know, now you know one of our best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So I'm super duper excited to show y'all my hair. Like, stop playing with me. Yeah, so I can't believe I just did that, y'all. I just went to the hair salon. It was a new salon, new girl, new person touching my hair. And I really just put my life into her hands. And I said, look, straighten me. Give me some layers. Um, I had my shirt in my hair and God knows how long. I want to see how long it grew. And I walked out of that salon with a silk press. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I think my curly hair is going to be a little uneven because I got some layers cut into it. But at this point, I don't even care because I love the way that it's straightened. And I basically want to show you guys what we did. I'm going to show y'all the entire process of me at the salon. We did some protein and some keratin treatments. I think that's going to help with the humidity with the sun, girl, so my hair doesn't shrivel up. And I'm going to tell y'all my style is secret, okay, to getting your hair looking this healthy and shiny after being naturally curly for so long. So if you want to see everything, girl, then just stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So before I show y'all my secret, let's take a trip down memory lane. This was December 24th of 2020. And this is when I first straightened my hair at home. Okay, do y'all see the body yaddy yaddy, the volume? My hair was so big, so fluffy, and it turned out to be so silky. It was so pretty. I put curls in it. And unfortunately, even though I use heat protectant and I took care of my hair, I experienced a lot of heat damage. So now this is in February and I gave myself a diva cut at home. Um, Y'all see the dates. This is back in February and I had to cut my hair. I have a lot of heat damage. The left and the right sides of my hair are completely different in terms of my texture. And since then I said, no, I'm cutting my hair. I'm taking care of it. I'm not putting any more heat on it until I go to a professional. I'm going to deep condition my hair every week constantly put oil in it take great care of my hair do some at-home protein treatments with like avocado and egg and you guys my hair grew so much so take a trip with me to the salon to see my secret Boom. The secret is love me hair, babe. Okay. Get you a wig from love me hair and love me hair only to achieve this silk press at home. Okay. I am not putting no heat in my hair, baby. So let's get into the unboxing. Okay. Love me hair gives you everything you need. And I'm talking about everything. They really spoil you. They give you an edge brush, a silk scarf, elastic band, some love me clips and some bobby pins and even a tweezer all included in this cute little bag with a wig cap we love that so here's the hair all of the hair information will be in the description box below you know brazilian body wave this is a closure baby not a frontal but i'm going to show you guys how to make it look really really realistic okay so i'm gonna go ahead and bleach my knots and pluck my wig off camera because y'all have seen me do this customization in like every single video okay so this is what i'll be using in today's video and i'm also showing y'all that i use purple shampoo by shimmer lights because it's amazing i'm gonna condition the hair and then we're gonna get into the blow drying
to the silk press process, you have to use heat protectant, okay? This IC Fantasia is going to get you right. A little goes a long way. Trust me, okay? Now it's time to flat iron. We're going to use the chase method, of course. Going to make this hair look beautiful. secret sauce okay this is the she is bomb hair wax stick and this is my favorite thing to use to get my frontals and my closures to lay flat and to have my wigs look as natural as possible okay this wax stick just melts into your hair and it makes the hairs stay exactly where you place them okay I also love this product because it allows the hair to still feel very lightweight. Like, it still has movement, still has body. It's not going to make your hair hard and brittle. It's going to look like the real thing, okay? It's going to give scalpiana when you put your wig on, okay? If you use this with a little bit of got to be spray, just a little, like, spray it on your hand and then rub it on the hair, you will be good to go, I promise you. It doesn't leave a weird shine or sheen. The hair still looks natural. It still feels soft. You don't have to worry about wetting it like the Nerubi mousse would. You know, it's just the perfect, it's the perfect product and it's really affordable. I know it's on Amazon and you can find it in your local beauty supplies, okay? Do y'all see the results? Stop playing with the kid. So I know I didn't show you guys my full plucking process, but I am going to show you guys how I pluck my parts. The key to making your wig look really, really natural is to pluck the part to where you know that it's a part, but don't over pluck it to where it look like the red sea has been divided you know what i'm saying like yeah you just gotta do a little bit a little plucking in the part goes a really long way and then your wig is going to look like it's growing from your scalp we love it here okay and after we're done this i'm going to show you guys how i install it as always i use the lace tint by eben and i also use ghost bond glue i think i only did two layers i did the ball cap method you'll see when we get there you'll see Now we can get into love it. I'm good, but 
what's the difference? Still good, it's at the difference. I'm good, what's the difference? If it's still good, just not so the smooth to me. It's to be all good, all bad. Taking up, that's more than so hard to love. Darling, you make it too hard to So right here, I'm showing y'all how I'm going to clean up my part. If you pluck it a little bit and get some concealer, it creates the perfect part, I promise. Now I'm taking my razor to cut this lace. Do y'all see how I laid this unit? Stop playing with me. I wish I pulled the wig a little bit more forward because it was some leftover glue on my forehead, but it's okay. I just used a little bit of powder to cover that up and... It's giving scalp, like, even with my little mistakes, it's still giving scalp, okay? So now I'm about to try to create me some baby hairs. I'm gonna do what Arrogant Tay does. He always curls the baby hairs, cuts them, and then he lays them down with some got to be spray. Use a smaller flat iron, okay? But I didn't have one, so I had to make it do what it did. Meantime, while I'm doing that, let me talk to y'all about how you can make your wigs look natural. It's all in the layers. Like, usually your hair isn't the same length all over. And putting layers in your hair just makes it look so natural. Because usually we got shorter pieces in the front. Regardless of what your hair went through, if you used to have leave out, if you had bangs, if you just, you know, had some issues with the front of your hair, usually it's shorter than the back. And doing those layers just made the wig look so natural. Granted, I didn't know what I was doing. I know y'all saw me struggling when I was cutting them layers, girl. But it really made this unit look like I had a silk press, okay? I'm sorry I was copping to y'all in the beginning of this video, girl. This is not my hair, obviously. But we're going to make it look like it is as much as we possibly can, okay? So, yeah, all in all... Love Me Hair is amazing. I loved this unit. The hair was so soft and easy to manage. And this is really like my everyday wig, my go-to wig. So if y'all see me in this unit from now on, just know that we're going to call this my real hair, okay? Because it's giving what it needs to give. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial and stay tuned to see the full transformation with the hair, makeup, and the outfit in three, two, one. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Outfit change, be my face, put on a little jewelry, you know what I'm saying? The finished result is here, and I love it. Okay, so let me give you guys a little review on this unit from Love Me Hair. 10 out of 10, I recommend. I love everything about it. I love everything about the company. I love how they spoil you, you and all of your packages. And no, that's not just because I'm on VR. That's how they do that, okay? Um, My mom, Ben, used to shop with Love Me Hair. And one of my favorite units from her was the one when I did the swoop with the flip out yeah it's the lace for me like the lace is super duper thin it melts into your skin you really don't even have to do a lot of manipulating the, with the lace so like it's just really really good it's really really good okay and do you see the movement do you see the body adi adi in the hair baby get it get into it get into it and this is the softest hair that i 
have ever had for real for real and i'm not going cap and it's been soft from beginning to end it was soft when i took it out the package when i conditioned it when i installed it after i've straightened it a thousand times and cut it and made it raggedy girl it's still super duper soft y'all see the lusciousness come on Stop playing with the kid. Like, stop playing with Lamiere, okay? The density is amazing on this unit. It really gives natural silk press vibes. Like, for real, the only thing I don't like about it is it's not a full frontal. Like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, oh, oh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful and make sure that you don't show any of your cap underneath or any of your cornrows, anything like that. But you guys, I love this hair. It's so soft, I keep touching it. Like, I cannot keep my hands out of it, okay? The length was perfect. Um, Even though I put layers in it, that's just what I wanted for the style that we were going for. But you guys, it's amazing. I will say that I don't know if it can hold a curl. Um, But it was body wave, so it should. But, like, I had to, like, curl the ends a lot because they just kept dropping like as you can see they're trying to drop right now but um i love this hair i love it i love it i love it i love the units it just gives what it's supposed to give like <laughs> er, this will be my everyday wig from here on out until I get tired of it, girl, but I love it, okay? I love it. So, really, right now, I'm just rapping. As you can see, I love Love Me Hair, and, like, I think it's called Love Me Hair for a reason, because you're just going to be in love. I love the unit. I love the company. I love the hair. I love the brand, everything about it, okay? So, we get this just. Um, if I have any discount codes, be sure to check the description box for yourself so you can get so many off, baby. Um, and make sure y'all, you know, tag them and tag me and tell them that Tara sent you, period. So, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to wrap this up. I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Holy, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch.